The following is a paid program about home design, remodeling, and construction. Ah, vacation right in your own backyard. Hard to beat this. But, of course, while we're here, on this episode of California Contractor, I sent Jack to the Savage's house in Bay Park. They have two young kids and are having a problem getting a contractor to make their dreams become a reality. Now, like many of us working from home, Tyler's in need of a home office. While his wife Kendall, she's been dreaming about a new master bath ever since they moved in. But they don't want to stop there. They want to create the living room and back deck of their dreams with a true California feel. Let's see what the California contractor has to say. but you're gonna need a real good structural contractor to handle the deck conversion to get the living space. Three foot six for a tub and four foot six for a shower. That's perfect. That's perfect. So this is, this is our master. This is great. Um, COVID kind of knocked us out. So you can see like my office is here. Right. Um, Smaller than your last one. Right. <laughs> yeah. And then, uh, and then this is like our deck that we don't use. So we were thinking if possible, we would want to push all of this out and pick up like the other hundred square feet or so, maybe extend the roof line out um, and then figure out like how to make this space usable between the French doors here and then at the top of the stairs. And then this will give us obviously more room for a bathroom as well. Okay, to make all this living space then. Yes. Yeah, at okay. least to here. And like this is, sits directly above our kitchen. Got it. So then I think, right? Yeah, it's like right above line. the dining table. Um, and okay. we just don't use it at all. So no, we like can make, make this living space, space for sure. Yeah. Cool. Yep. Yeah. So we're looking to just blow this up. We definitely want to close off like the toilet area. Okay. Um, I, I'd like to get rid of this wall over here and do like a cool glass finish. I don't know if this is like structural or not right next to you here. Nope. Nope. That can go. Okay. And, and we'd then, love to have a bathtub, like a big. Bathroom. Okay, yeah. so you want to have like a glass shower and a bathtub in here. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Um, this is like a huge vanity, I guess, here as mm -hmm. well. You know, one thing that I'm interested in is can we do anything to like, I don't know, reduce this, maximize this opportunity. If we push it out, obviously it would go away, but gotcha. you know, depending on cost, we may just have to do with what you the, still like two sinks. So in your vanity, definitely. Okay. Yeah. And then also another thing that we feel like we should take advantage of is the view here. Okay. And these two little windows don't accomplish that at all. Great. So, so we want to pick maybe up. Maybe like a middle, just one middle window and then two sinks with mirrors. Gotcha. Yeah, I mean, sides. like yeah. even what we have right now is like really odd, right? Like if you're shaving, yeah, you're yeah. looking <laughs> at a window instead mm -hmm. of a mirror. And right. that is so bizarre to me. So Yeah, they did it backwards, didn't they? Yeah, totally. <laughs> like we could have could have had a great like big pocket window here and instead yep. we have these mm -hmm. these little ones. I okay. don't know how that would work, but we're we're open to suggestions. We can put some pretty good ideas together. You've got cool. lots of especially if we're gonna be pushing out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You have a lot more space than you think. Yeah. Cause I mean that's twenty five percent more space if you okay. think about it just like that. So we're gonna be able to do some really cool things in here. Okay. 
I might suggest getting a designer involved. We'll talk a little okay. bit more about that downstairs. But the advantage of that is mm -hmm. they help you with flow and design and usability. Okay. Your procession, like how you use the space, mm -hmm. all comes into a factor. It's not just about picking tiles, although that's part of it. Okay. So okay. we'll talk a little bit more about that when we're, when we're downstairs. We want to blow, if you come over here, you can see it pretty clear, but we want to blow this entire wall out okay. and open it up like a California living room. And then what I'd like to do is maybe break this railing here down as well and then have this whole thing flow down and out. So you don't want to do an addition as much as just open it up into a door? Yeah, like accordion or... And then have some stairs yeah. to here, oversized stairs to here, then mm -hmm. oversized stairs down to there. Yeah. I think that's a great idea. And then possibly do um, some kind of overhang so that we can have a TV out here and like okay. a place Okay, have some to, outdoor uh, living. Yeah, outdoor living. Okay. I like it. Mm -hmm. You guys have given this some thought. Yeah, no, that's completely doable. Okay. And then, like I said, there'll be some rules we have to follow. When you come out of a doorway, you have to have a landing kind of like there. Okay. Sure. So putting the door over there would mean that the, the high deck has to extend out here a ways before the stairs can begin. So oh, that's going to limit your usable space out here by quite a bit. Um, oh, I see. What you you see what I mean? Yeah. Because oh. where the deck, if the deck ends where the wall is, we have to come three feet out flat and then start the stairs. And then mm -hmm. see, you've got to have three stairs. So now you're going to be four or five feet away from that wall before your deck can start. Oh. Um, which is fine could too. Could we just extend the deck out? Your deck has to keep following your property lines. Mm -hmm. So we could just keep it going out as far as we need to yeah. to make this a good, comfortable space for all your furniture. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. All right. Okay, so we talked about a lot of things, which is yes. fun. So um, I just want to kind of recap real quick. I like to do this when I'm done, just sort of very high level, just sort of talk through things just to make sure I've at least captured the high points. So um, first we talked about upstairs and I think your priorities there would be to make the bathroom bigger. Yes. I have um, an, enclosed, an enclosed toilet room, mm -hmm. a bathtub. Um, definitely a nice big shower, steam if you can get away with it, yeah. which I think would be a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, we want to keep um, two sinks and um, we want to figure out a way obviously to incorporate your beautiful view, yes. right? When yes. we're using the bathroom. So that's what I have for there. Now we were talking about some office space. So did you want to have office space dedicated with a door completely closed off? Do you just want an alcove in your bedroom for an office? Were you thinking of having no office space up there at all? What were you thinking? I think if we could have like an enclosed, maybe with like French doors or something, they don't have to be, you know, something that you can have, we can see through the view on, okay. um, just so that when he's on Zoom calls and that sort of thing, we can close it off because we do have two little boys that like to run in the background of sure. the calls. And okay, great. So now let's talk about the outdoor. I think okay. that's an exciting part. You know, we're in California. Mm -hmm. Outdoor living is important. It's a great way to add extra square footage to your space without another great big addition. Mm -hmm. So I, here are my notes on outdoor living is I think you took, wanted to take the wall that you have facing your backyard, eliminate that alcove so that we can pick up a little bit more square footage inside the house. I think that'll change your living room dramatically. So anyways, we're going to have to increase the deck at the upper level for safety and then what we call waterfall stairs. So that means the full width, the waterfall stairs just kind of fall down into the, the lower deck. That's gonna make it the, the traffic flow just real nice. Now, because we're pushing out a little bit, that's gonna make that level of the deck small. So we might need to talk about making that deck a bit bigger for some of your outdoor living furniture, mm -hmm. maybe the table or the chairs. And then we're gonna take a right turn and we're gonna do mm -hmm. another set of waterfall stairs, maybe a second area of outdoor living to get you down onto the yard. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. So here's what I would recommend for you. Um, people always like, okay, well, what are the next steps? Mm -hmm. So that's what we're doing here today. I think everything is very feasible and doable. Mm -hmm. But what I'd like to do is bring a design team in. I have someone specific in mind. Her name's Mandy. Okay. And maybe have her come by. I'm going to shoot her a couple pictures right now so that she knows what she's walking into. Mm -hmm. So I really would like to get her expertise on that, if that's okay with you guys. Yeah, Perfect. sounds good. Okay, yeah. all right, so let me text her okay. a few pictures and I'll see when we can get her over here. Okay, sounds good. If you're watching this episode and want to apply to be on the show, go to california-contractor.com and fill out an application.
What is on your home remodeling list this year? Classic Home Improvements is a full-service remodeling company. We will help you design your space and select your materials before we start construction. All you have to do is enjoy your new home. Schedule your free design consultation at readytoremodel.com. Some might think a pool is a place to relax and unwind, a place to leave the daily stress behind, a private retreat, a personal oasis. The truth is, a pool is all of those things and more. We believe a pool is about celebrating life, loved ones, and friendship. San Diego Pools, 40 years of unwavering commitment to excellence and craftsmanship. Attention homeowners, if you're planning any type of remodel and aren't sure who to call or where to look, give SBMS Media a call. We are happy to guide you. With over 25 years of experience in construction and remodeling in the San Diego region, we know people. And we can guide you toward the right type of company for the project you have in mind. Get guidance now at 888-621-0857. Hey Jack. Hey Mandy, how are you doing? Good, how are you? Not too bad. Hey, sorry to uh, call you like this on short notice, but I have a customer that I went over to see. I thought it was a structural deal, and it is, but I also think it's going to be important that we marry structure and design all at the same time. Is there any chance you could get down by the beach um, in the next hour so that we could, I could kind of introduce you and show you what I'm looking at? Yeah, absolutely. I actually just wrapped up a client meeting, so um, I can head right down. If you want to send me over the address, I'll pull over and plug it in my, my phone. Okay, I will. Hey, how are you? Great. How are you? Good. Jeff's around here somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. What are you I'm, working on? So I know exactly what the answer is. What are you guys doing? Hey, we're actually working on Savage. Oh, I like that one. <laughs> I like that one. Yeah. Where we at? I woke up this morning and I saw it. And um, so I grabbed a, the nearest color pencil. That's what I love about you. It's <laughs> always on your mind. Eat, sleep, breathe. I know. So I... Um, so I, I laid it out, and I think that you walk in here, and you see the wet room, right? Mm -hmm. So we've got the freestanding tub. We've got a nice big window. We can put a window over that, too. And then double vanity with the mirror to reflect the light. Yeah. So it feels nice and open. They can put a little ottoman or a bench or something here if they want. Tub is a big thing. I know she really, Kendall really wants that big tub. I know. And, um, and then put a window, maybe a clear story type window up in the toilet room to give some natural light in there. And then I'm thinking uh, a seated vanity with some tall enclosed cabinetry in there so that, because she was saying she wants to be able to hide the stuff that she's putting in the cabinet. Yeah. She doesn't want it just out on shelving. So I put that there with like a little seated vanity in case she wants to get ready or, you know. Okay. Every girl needs something nice there. Plus that mirror will bounce the light. Oh, nice. Right? Okay. So the light is kind of bouncing around, mm -hmm. so it feels really light and fresh. Well, okay, so you have here a lot of Kindle. What about Tyler? I know he wanted to have an office somewhat close as well. Yes. So 
um, when we were up there with them, Jack, and um, talking to them, the, the doors can go here, because this is their bedroom, this is the rest of that deck, yep. right? So this is plenty of space for a little office, and we could even bring in the windows there, right? Um, and then the, the French doors with glass there. Ooh. That, that's right. only four or five feet, so it's not a lot of room, but I don't yeah. think he wanted a lot of room. No, just enough, I think, for a little desk where he can shut the door. Mm -hmm. So like, if they can even open it to the bedroom. Or a barn door, because I think he's going to want those open 90% of the time. With the glass barn door, Because there's maybe? just not a lot of room in there. So it's going to be barely room for a desk in there. <coughs> Unless we do like a built-in situation. Yeah, but if you do, and I'm not arguing with you, but yeah. I'm just saying if you... You run a desk this way, so now you have a little three no. foot desk. But if you run it this way, a desk is two foot six. Oh, so is back to the door? Yeah. Yeah, well, still, though, a desk is. A desk is two foot six. Mm -hmm. That only leaves him about two feet for his chair. chair. Yeah. I just know that they want the light to come all the way through. Yeah. So I was trying to envision something with glass. Um, yeah. You think they'll like it? I do. I do. I'm glad I could help, though. Keep it going. <laughs> <laughs> I think I, it looks great. And I think we have the space, right? I that, think so too. Yeah. Yep. Yep. This is the addition area mm -hmm. is I think about five feet. And so I think the extra five feet is going to be all you need. Awesome. Yay. Yep. I'm so great. excited. <laughs> I think they're going to love it. There's no way that this is what they were thinking. Oh, well, that's why they called us, right? That's right. Perfect. <laughs> awesome. Okay, guys. Well, we're glad to be back. So we've had the whole team working. I think you're going to love what Mandy put together. Um, it actually, quite a bit of effort went into just making it all work. We went through a whole bunch of different designs to get you guys what we think you're looking for. So I'm really excited for you guys to see this. So Mandy, do you want to show them? Yes. Oh, I'm so excited. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to start with the bathroom okay. um, and the office area. So we talked about expanding onto that deck, doing an addition, mm -hmm. and really just opening up and making that master bathroom more usable and then giving you a space for where you can close the doors, have Zoom meetings, have phone calls, but still have the light come through. Right? Yes. yes. So. Perfect. This. So pretty. Is what I could Thank you. <laughs> so. I took in kind of your aesthetic and the spaces and the things that you were saying um, that you really like mm -hmm. about the way the house is done. Brought in like this element of something unexpected. You know, you're young and you're fun, mm -hmm. and um, but it's still in a in a very soft color palette. And then we brought in some of the dark metals that we talked about, some mm -hmm. nice faucet, and then some softer silhouettes since we've got some geometric patterns. Um, in some of the tile work, I brought in like soft, um, more organic shapes yeah. to cool. counterbalance that. Yeah. But you can see a little bit more of the pattern of the countertop material and just the flow of the way things would go. That's okay. Is that the bedroom? No, back here's the closet. Oh. Your toilet yeah. room's okay. here, the bedroom's to the left there. Okay, I'm with you. Okay. <laughs> so your office space, um, these planters actually kind of served as part of my like design concept inspiration. I mm -hmm. felt like when I saw those okay. that they were very you guys. Mm -hmm. Like I feel like yeah. it's something you would purchase on your own and I mm -hmm. feel like it would fit your home. And so I was like, okay, for some reason that's what just drew me in and then everything came together. So see now you're in the bedroom, you can see that wall that has the like kind of the honeycomb effect yeah, coming oh, out yeah, yeah, yeah. on the oh, side yeah. of the the side of the vanity oh, and then your office there so the mm -hmm. light's still very much coming in mm -hmm. um, and now we're on the deck nice. oh, wow. <laughs> so this would be your new view okay um, and it's on the existing footprint um, but just three steps higher and so then I shifted your stairs over here so that's that. Um, do you guys want to see and touch some of the materials? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So that's all level now though, right? Up there's all level. So and then you don't hit a step. You just, you just walk, walk straight out. out. Okay, so um, since you're looking at the deck photo, this is the Trex material. Okay. Um, oh yeah, that's cool. It's like a lighter gray. Yeah, a little, bit, a little bit softer, but it has the reds and the browns and the yeah. movement. It's just oh, cool. they give you a sample that's just this big. That's sure. why the, the images can be so helpful. Okay. Yeah. 
cool. That's great. So for the bathroom, um, so these are the two hexagon materials, and I'll let you guys, they're porcelain. Nice. Um, so there's no maintenance, it, it goes in, it's super durable. Mm -hmm. um, they're not gonna scratch or you know yeah. anything like that, etch yeah. like a lot of natural stone does. Uh -huh. um, and then this is the same material as that lighter one, but just in a 12 by 24. And so this is what I would recommend for the flooring. Yeah. And you oh, can cool. feel there's a little bit of texture so mm -hmm. it won't be slippery when it's wet, yeah. which is always super important. Mm -hmm. nice. And then for your vanity, I was thinking like a laminate uh, wood because durable okay. and um, easy to wipe down, you know. For and the cabinets? I, mm -hmm, okay. Yep, for the vanity cabinets. With this, so this is a marble, but it's an outdoor rated marble. It's dense um, and then there's great sealants. So I feel confident putting that on your, um, on your bathroom vanity in there. Okay. I've put this actual material in a different color wave on outdoor pools. Oh, nice. And um, it, it holds up. It stands the test. Pretty. I like it. And then it's this, this is the same material as the countertop, but cut into mosaics. Do you want to like uh, put this here? Here, do you want to hand me stuff? Do you want to trade? Sure. No, she's got it. She's got it. <laughs> there you go. There you go. And where does this one go? This so that's for the shower, oh, for the, the shower floor, floor and the shower and that's the grout. Yeah, nice. so yeah. It, it brings in an, the nice um, balance mm -hmm. to the natural tones. It's not too bright for some of the darker because there's so much variance, um, but then it still makes the white pop. So what I always tell people is this is just an important first step, right? Mm -hmm. So when we first met, the idea was we want to do these things, but how do we get it all done? Mm -hmm. And so this is why I recommend let's start with design. But this isn't the end. This is really just like step number two of 100. Um, there's obviously, especially up in the bathroom, some real construction concerns with converting that deck into living space. So when you get to the point of hiring a contractor, you're going to have to be very, very careful about what kind of contractor you um, choose. But you're going to need a real good structural contractor to handle the deck conversion to get the living space. You know, permitting is going to be important because it's on the front of your house. You want credit for the extra square footage, but it can definitely all be done. This is great. great. Well, I'm glad you like it. Yeah. You guys have my so, cell number. Do you yeah. have any questions? you need anything? Don't hesitate to reach out. I bug this guy all the time. Okay. So yeah, yeah, we're here. Well, thank you guys. Awesome. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. All right. Thank you. Awesome. Thank, thank you, you guys. What is on your home remodeling list this year? Classic Home Improvements is a full-service remodeling company. We will help you design your space and select your materials before we start construction. All you have to do is enjoy your new home. Schedule your free design consultation at readytoremodel.com. There's more than one type of property, and we have more than one type of lending solution. Whether you're a first-time buyer, refinancing your home, building the home of your dreams, or a seasoned investor, at APM, we make the loan process as convenient, transparent, and simple as possible. We want you to leave the transaction comfortable, that you've received the information and options necessary to make the right decision for your financial future. Find an advisor at apmortgage.com. If you're a homeowner who has a rotting deck in your backyard, or you're just looking to build a beautiful space where you can entertain guests and have people over, then you're gonna love working with Fraser Decks and Patio Covers. One of our favorite things to do is to take your vision and turn it into reality. When you work with us, we have two promises to you. The first is that we will never advise you to do something we wouldn't do at our own home. And the second is that we will build your project just like it's at our own home. So if you're looking to beautify your backyard, please give us a call for your free estimate at 760-703-0739. Attention homeowners. If you're planning any type of remodel and aren't sure who to call or where to look, give SBMS Media a call. We are happy to guide you. With over 25 years of experience in construction and remodeling in the San Diego region, we know people. And we can guide you toward the right type of company for the project you have in mind. Get guidance now at 888-621-0857.
Hey, Jeff. Hey, Jack. How's it going? I got oysters. Oh, per oh got you got you me. a beer. <laughs> I already, well, I got one and had a sip. I was over at the pool. Oh, thanks for letting <laughs> me know. It's hot out. Mm. Oh. Can I have one Real of these? Real good, yeah. All right. Oh, those are good, so mm. good. So, I want to talk about Savage. This was a really fun project for them. They've got a couple of kids, a couple of uh, boys, and they really wanted to create a place for them out in the backyard so they can play. But even more than that, I think, they wanted that area they can entertain, but they got a cool backyard. Oh, it's a great backyard. So what, tell me, what, what happened with all that? It was great. You know, the reveal was excellent, I thought. It was, I was so excited for that reveal. The transformation, both upstairs in the bathroom and out in the backyard, is probably um, one of the more exciting ones that we've done so far. So I thought it was, um, I thought it was great, and they're very excited, which is fun for me too. Yeah, it, yeah. it really is. Um, some of the key takeaways, any similarities that you see with their property and other homeowners, some of the pitfalls. What were some of the biggest ones you came across? You know what? I actually, it makes that one made me proud to be in the construction business, which I don't get to say every day. You know, they had called a contractor in, probably a kitchen and bath contractor because they wanted their bathroom done. And that contractor was responsible enough to say that they didn't want to do a structural remodel on their deck um, because it's a big deal. And they knew that it wasn't their expertise. But just as a homeowner trying to tackle a big project like that with exteriors and decks and you name it, is there's basically two ways to handle it. So some homeowners who want to be more involved, you know, not necessarily as an owner builder, but to just get it started, could hire their own architect, their, and the architect would help them with a structural engineer, et cetera, and actually design blueprints and structure to something that is buildable and legal. And then they could take those drawings and get quotes from general contractors on how to build it. Um, the pitfalls there is number one, it's going to be a little expensive. Number two, it's going to take probably at least a year. The other way to go that they could consider is a design-build contractor. And we've talked about that, but a design-build contractor would basically come in, get their budget, do all the architectural and structural designs and everything, but with their budget in mind while they're talking about cost, just to make sure that it doesn't go over their budget or the amount of money that they feel comfortable spending on their home. So they still have that decision to make, but I think we've got them down the road where they are now prepared to make that kind of a decision. Another family on track next week. We'll do it all over again. One more time. Huh? Until then, I'll drink my pink drink. You drink your beer. Nice. <laughs> do you want to win a two-night staycation for a family of four at San Diego Mission Bay Resort in a Waterview room? I'll even throw in dinner at Covewood and an activity credit toward Action Sports Rentals. Of course you do. To enter, simply visit california-contractor.com.